Hey. Hey. You got it to work. <laughs> you doing filters? I got my starry night up here. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. All right, we're here. Is it live? Yeah. Oh, wait, is this real or is this practice? This is this is real, I think. Oh, well. How's it going, man? It's going. I'm in my uh, lazy boy. Nice. I can I can rock the entire time. What'd you have for dinner? I didn't. We had uh, a Costco dinner, which of course you know is right up there with the best, almost as good as Olive Garden. We had stuffed peppers. <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did, I, did I tell you about my Olive Garden so, story from yesterday? I know you were going, but I I don't know. I haven't heard since. No. How'd it go? And so I took my daughter and her friend, and my daughter's been bugging me to go to Olive Garden. And I've only been there like three times in existence. Mm -hmm. And uh, we get there, and my daughter and her friend both order fettuccine Alfredo, and I order something I've never ordered before, which was the uh, Taste of Italy, which is like lasagna, fettuccine Alfredo, and then chicken parm. And uh, they brought out their food, and then she's like, "I gotta go get your food." And I was like, "Okay." She brings me out the plate, and she's like, "Do not touch this plate. It's it's like super super hot." <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> "I'm like okay." And she walks it around to me and just fucking dumps it, like drop the whole thing in my lap, all down my leg. She starts crying <laughs> and like freaking out, and I'm like, "It's okay. It's okay." She's like, "I'm so sorry. I've never done this before." Um, and I was like, it's fine. Just bring me like a wet towel and like, I'll clean it up. And, uh, yeah, I cleaned it up, but it was just like, so shitty. It was like the entire plate of food in my lap. I said, fuck this place. and never coming back here. I flipped the table. So how are the breadsticks though? <laughs> I didn't eat any breadsticks. Okay. Well, I you fucked up right there. Yeah. I, I told you, I don't like so, it. Did I tell you what happened in Long Beach? So you remember when we were in line i'm pretty sure you were there we were in line at the food trucks that day. Uh -huh. yeah okay so i had like two days before i had gotten these brand new adidas sambas they were white you see like with black stripes horrible mistake so um i'm wearing them and we wait in line and the line was really long but finally we're getting up to the front and this dude grabs his food and then walks by me drops the ketchup and it hits like it's an open dish of ketchup you know when it hits mm. the ground splatters everywhere and then onto my shoes and i'm like ah oh, man well okay you know as character cool uh i can't bend <laughs> over as you know, character because, yeah i can't bend over right now you know because of my back thing so i don't bend over too much so joanne goes and starts cleaning off my shoes and people are probably thinking like ah, oh, this guy is fucking what an <laughs> asshole this guy is mm -hmm. you know his wife just bends over and cleans off his She's shoes for him everything. spitting on her so, hand and scrubbing <laughs> your foot well, the very next day is Sunday. We leave and we go down to the, um, Laguna and we check into our hotel and we get breakfast and the waitress brings out our breakfast and then drops the ketchup onto the floor and it hits my shoes. <laughs> like and twice, then, two times. Yeah, I see. You're orchestrating this so jo Joanne has to get under the table. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's all planned. Right, it's, right. It's all it's in the it's in planning. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. There should be some questions. Sure, Pop T says, "What's up? No, oh, what up? Not comments. That's fine too. But I mean, questions, questions. What do you got? Uh, what's the perfect so dryer time to bake my pizza? Oh, everybody knows. Yeah, everyone knows the answer to that. Did I ever tell you that we have a setting on our dryer? You know how you have the recipes. We have a recipe for water base. A recipe. A recipe." For plastisol and a recipe for uh, uh, what is it? Fucking apple crisp. Hmm. Because we ran an apple crisp through it once. Uh, well, a couple of smart asses said, "How much for shirts?" <laughs> Can blind people see their dreams? That is fucking weird, dude. What do they dream about? Good question. Yeah, I don't have the answer to that one. <clears throat> But then how would they know to describe what to describe to the comments at the bottom are going too fast uh, for me to uh, latest feedback on the Saudi laser, how was set up and calibration to dial it in? Um, well, we had the best in the business, Kevin. So it went really well. Uh, he was there a couple days. We were cranking, got everything done and dialed and ready to go by the time he left. So um, well, that was awesome. 
Can I comment that no matter what you use to expose <laughs> your screens, no matter what you use to image or expose your screens, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. And I highly recommend buying whatever that thing is or building whatever that thing is, DIY, or if you want to bring your screens in the sun, do it. Like it's You've great. grown. I, You're a better person for saying did you, that. Did you see what I, I just did? I know you did. Yeah, mm -hmm. You were just positive, positive reinforcement. <laughs> um, other than that, it's been great. Like uh, we, We've been using it for months now, and uh, every screen that we've done it, we, we literally, I don't think, have had any issues other than figuring out the correct, like what emulsion we really wanted to use. Um, but other than that, it's been awesome. Mm -hmm. The, um, the best detail there, we've ever had. There was a um, question I just saw, and it says, why do grapes taste nothing like grapefruit? I don't know. It was something like that. I might have gotten it wrong. It seems like a grizzly question. Probably was. Mm -hmm. Talk to Josh today That's for right. a minute. Yeah, we talked about Costco eggs and stuff. Uh, There's a question that said, if you had to challenge a rival shop to a duel, what shop tool would you come armed with? Ooh. A hammer, for okay. sure. Is that a shop tool? For a lot I of guess we all have hammers. People, yeah, it was. A hammer for registration. Registration hammer? Yeah, yeah. The registration? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, or uh, uh, old school dehazer juice. You can just throw that on somebody and eat their fucking skin off. That'd be kind of a slower death, There's like 10 yeah. questions in here that say how much for shirts. You know, the spot gun, uh, the spot gun thing would be pretty good. You spray it in their eyes. You like yeah, that? I do. Yeah, There's a question... Uh, who could run walk a 5k faster, Andy or Dylan? We walk, uh, we've walked together before. I think you're who let who led? faster. You're, I've long, yeah, you have a I was gonna say I've longer legs, but I don't. We have the same length legs. <laughs> I just have more mass moving forward. It's science. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, I'm done with those questions. Um, let's talk about camp a little bit or uh, spring break. Okay, okay. talk about it. Uh, here, saying me. Um, yeah, so we have, um, let's just do this just for a sec and then get to some other stuff. But okay. this is a thing we're doing spring break in April. I think it's the 18th and 19th. It's in Chicago. We are, um, it's actually in Roselle, Illinois, and it's at MNR. And you can come up, hang out. We're going to talk about whiting, just like our summer camp. Uh, the five truths. of printing white ink and um uh we have to um we're committing to this hotel like we're putting our credit card down i haven't told you this yet but we're putting our credit card down to guarantee like 30 rooms or something like that so we have to buy them anyway so like we've got the rooms might, people might as well come like we me and you personally 30 rooms like we can <laughs> yeah. like dirty the fuck out of one and then move exactly. to the next. Exactly. so much people, people juice um yeah, well, we did the one last summer, mm. and it was great, and it was high demand, and we decided we wanted to do it again. But we had to get out of Shirt Kong, so the place was fucking filthy and gross. So we decided to move it to MR. Yeah, well, we, um, we could do it at Upstate, you know. There's, that There's no room. It's impossible. Yeah, well, we'll make room. Yeah. It'll be fine. I mean, we can make it work. We can do it outside. That'd be cool. Uh, um, but we the cool the, the cool thing about M and R though is you do not have to be an M and R shop. Like we're not saying like blue only. Like the the things you would learn would be valid with any press. So we're gonna go, come hang out. Go to every place. We're going. Yeah, yeah. We don't care. It's just it's unbiased. Uh, you know. We want to do it at Rock sometime. We want to do it anywhere. Um, we just want to be able to hang out with you guys. So we're going to do that. Yeah, I saw somebody suggest we should just get three rooms. <laughs> Everybody kind of just, you know, like uh, hang out in those three rooms. We I've, that I've done that before. We did the, um, what was it? It was like the, the, the Long Beach frat house where we had like 27 shops in one building. And not building, one house. Yeah. People were sleeping in the lawn. People were sleeping in the driveway. And, it was rough. 
but we made it work. Yeah, but you get to know each other, you know, real good. Yeah. You get closer. You grow grow closer with one another. Is anybody want to come in and talk? Is there anybody out there that wants to join us? Ooh. We figured out how to do that earlier. We're just testing the limits now. Yeah. Uh, no, I, Nick would. No, no. Nick, Nick was in that house. He knows what I'm talking about. He stayed there. Yeah, come on, Nick. You want to tell us about it? <laughs> Invite Nick on. Talk about. I heard that. Uh, talk I about. Heard Nick had a wild weekend. I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe you can come on and talk about that. Mm-hmm. I don't think we can hear that legally. <laughs> I'm just reading these. I know. He's coming in. He's oh, crazy. I'm reading too. There he Dude, it's bad. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> hey, what's happening? He's, he's not in a vulnerable bath. Dude, it's, uh, I'm feeling a little rough today. Nick, I gotta be honest with you. You look handsome. Your hair is done. It's really? fucking Sunday hey, at 9. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, this weekend was nuts, man. John and Jules were in town, and it was <laughs> the funnest time. So John John told us a little story that uh, you just offered to fight everybody. <laughs> yeah, definitely. They're free. It's free. I mean, here's the thing. Uh, John definitely had to uh, reel me back a little bit, for <laughs> sure. So It was nuts, dude. We went to this, like, club last night that was, like, yeah. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was run by, like, the Russian mob kind of thing but uh, it was fun man this is uh, this, <laughs> this is rad man i can't believe how many people joined it was like really cool what's going on with you what else is new man uh heading to atlanta at the end of the week um lucas is going to be at the dtf expo uh i think both shows kind of like run like the dtf expo is what on the 23rd or something like that so yeah, heading to Atlanta for the Facilla show, which should be pretty cool. St. Louis based company, by the way. Mm. So Yeah, man. That's pretty much it, dude. I'm I'm rough <laughs> today, my guys. Just <laughs> <laughs> but totally. Fun, mm. fun weekend for sure, without a doubt. Well, you need to you know, hydrate uh-huh. and uh-huh. Uh-huh. get a nice meal, get yes. some sleep, you there. know, cuddle up yep. maybe with a oh. with a blankie oh. or something. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. That sounds good. <laughs> I just asked John to join. That's the old Johnny boy. I asked him. He said he just landed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, um, I don't know. They were running to get something to eat, but he might come on later. Awesome. I love you. Well, that's all I got. I'm gonna jump on. All right, man. Like, uh, I I was debating. I was debating on uh, joining, but well, yeah, you got the you got the. We're really going to just say hi and have you in. Love you guys. See you, man. Love y'all. All right. See ya. You believe in luck? Luck? Luck. No. Hmm. <laughs> is, that, is that the answer you were looking for? Because <laughs> no. I don't have any. I'm fucking cursed. That's bullshit. You have to believe in some sort of luck. No. I believe that I I have bad luck if, I, if it's real. I feel like everything that, that um, could go wrong on. goes Steven wrong. Stephen Inc. says I, there's five types of luck. Bring Steve, invite Steve. Steven, let's hear him. Let's hear your five. I know of two. Oh, good luck, bad luck, blind luck. Uh, I see. I don't know. Steven, I hope you're ready. Yeah, he asked for it. Steven, why do you have a personal and Steven dot ink and? Why do you... you fucking have that. That shut up. Let's leave Steven alone. You have personal. I have a stuff. Personal, but I don't have two personal. He doesn't have two personal. Steven's doing mm. fine. Okay. He's doing fine. Sorry. He needs one second. He's got hey, Matt. to put his clothes. Matt, how's like the it. new press, bud? That's what mm. we should do. Matt, Matt, are you at, where are you, Matt? Are you home? I want to hear about your new press install. What's up, guys? Hey there. How, how's the press? Good, man. We spent six hours, like, scrubbing that thing down today, with, literally with toothbrushes and, like, 701 and stuff, just... Just scrubbing the hell out of it, but it looks pretty. I mean, it looks used, but it's pretty damn good, and it's holding reg like a champ. So you're taking all, all the blue off. Well, you had Wally out there setting it up, right? Wally broke it down and helped um, his partner Mike transfer it, and then, uh, yep, he was out there all day yesterday getting it dialed in. That's awesome. What'd you get? What'd you get? Huh? What'd you get? I uh, got a uh, 2014 Sportsman. Perfect. Okay, because I so we have a twelve in our. Thank God, um, approved by Andy. Okay, good. 
Well, it's rare. The 12, um, hey, no, 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 Dylan, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Uh, look, uh, we have a 2012 and our, the, the like print run screen, the year after they made ours, they improved it. And so yours is all on the same screen. You don't yep. have to scroll between screens. Mine, I have to like do a bunch of different scrolling and 2014. It's a winner. Yeah, it's 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 definitely definitely nice. Um, I trained Mike today on how to run it. He had never really run an MNR. Um, forgot how easy that sportsman really is to run. Within like ten minutes, I'm like, up, oh, I can run this thing with my eyes closed again. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. So it's 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 a good press. We're super stoked about it. It's it's been like a year of like trying to get Wally's schedule to work because he's just so busy. And like it kind of happened out of nowhere this last week. We didn't really expect it to happen that fast. So it's uh, we now have an auto. It's, it's exciting. We were just, um, Dylan and I were just talking to, I think, um, our last guest, I want to say, about the sportsman or an up and down indexer compared to a flat indexer and how I like, I grew up on the up and down. It's not funny. It's no, I'm, funny. I'm reading, not, I'm reading the comments. I'm reading the comments. Not, <laughs> the comments. Oh. I tuned you out a while ago, Andy. I was reading the comments. <laughs> That's what I do. That's why he gets mad at me. All right. <laughs> Fuck off, guys. Somebody's interested in this. <laughs> no, I want to hear. Just how much easier it is because you can time your loads. You time. You just kind of get in. I, I think did you get in sync with time uh, your loads, right? I think you get in sync with the press. Like you, you just feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like instead of the flat indexer, you don't know when it's going to take off on you. I'm giving you all type, type, like all sorts of shit, Dylan. I know. But uh, yeah, the up and down, you can time your, um, just, you can time everything with it. I love, I love the, I kind of miss sportsmen's compared to um, like the Cobras. Well, that's what, that's what we were saying too, is that uh, I feel like everyone in the shop's favorite press is the sportsman. Even though like the G3 can do like more stuff, their favorite, mm -hmm. like their comfy sweater, you know, their like, their go-to is the, uh, yeah. the sporty. Yeah, I'm just excited to have my business partner, Mike, who's been pulling a squeegee for seven years now, not pulling a squeegee. I mean, his his, his body is going to be so much better off and um, just the amount of work we can get done. I mean, a week worth of manual printing, we're done a day now, right? So mm -hmm. it's it's going to be killer for the shop. I'm super excited. How's uh, how's everything going with ScreenBird GPT? Great. Um, yeah, no, it's uh, we've got... A little over 400 people uh, now, now members, and uh, it's got about almost 150 daily users. So it's about about 150 different interactions every day um, with people. So it's people are using it. Um, if it's just little questions here and there, I'm, I'm, I get pinged when there's something that it can't answer, and that hasn't happened much lately. It gets smarter as it goes, and then when I get pinged about that, I go in there and I try to answer it, so it can like train the model. Yeah. Um, it's getting bigger. It's getting better. I've got some some more. I just released that tool. The um, kind of released it a little bit last week. Uh, a screen printing pricing calculator saw, that you can kind of upload that. upload yeah, your own yeah. pricing. And it spits out the code for you to copy and paste onto your WordPress, your Squarespace, whatever. And it's your pricing, and it's a little calculator. So I've got more tools that I'm kind of working on um, to keep adding to the platform too. So besides just the smart chat, it's going to have uh, different products that I'm going to continue to like release for free to go ahead and just try to help you in different parts of your business. So anybody can download that and then add a pricing calculator yep. to their website? So you can go into there to be a member on Screenboard GPT, again, free. And it has a, a CSV you can download for first location pricing and then additional location pricing if you want to have different pricing for those. Awesome. You can add in, add in whatever garment name you want and then how much it's going to be for the blank. And then you hit generate code. It gives you the code. You copy and paste that into... Uh, a little embed. I'm making a video actually teach you how to do it too. It's it's real easy. And then on your website, you've got a live calculator that people can just kind of see what the pricing is. Because you know how people call just like, I'm curious. I don't really want to quote yet. Yeah. You end up quoting them. They end up not doing anything. So it's just a tool to kind of help people understand the pricing module. Um, and then also salespeople on the road be like, oh, what's that price going to be? Just quickly be able to like bring it up right there on their phone. Nice and easy. That's sweet. I'm going to look and see if there's more questions yeah yeah oh matt you I'm can actually matt, matt, you can answer this trials and fibrillation said uh what should you look for when considering buying a used auto 
um, where you can get support from it. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter what you use you're going to get. Same with like buying a new press. It's it's how you're going to get support, right? So who do you know in your area that can help fix it if it's going to break? How quickly can you get parts for it? Um, and then what's your community? Like, are you kind of more in the blue crew, more in the green side? Like, either way, it's cool, and you can bounce back and forth, too. I encourage it personally. Um, but kind of what are you going to get the help with, right? Certain markets also, you might find screen printers no more, right? Um, hate, hate to offend anybody, but here in Chicagoland, uh, there's a lot more blue machines, yeah. right? So it's easier to hire somebody who knows how to run a blue machine in Chicagoland, right? There's other parts of the country where there's definitely more green machines, right? So think about that too. Um, if you can, hire Wally or somebody to go take a look at it. End of the day, as long as the center shaft is pretty good, um, most things, there you go, Dylan. As long as it's got a good shaft, you're usually going to be just fine. <laughs> the, the funny thing is that lined up perfectly. I was not laughing at that. <laughs> Josh, Josh said I painted my press mauve, and that, that was what made me laugh. Sure, sure. sure. What uh -huh. was, yeah, but like real talk though what was your decision because was yours just the convenience or that press was a good deal or what was uh you, it, honestly it was a good deal i was looking at uh rock or mnr because honestly i love them both um i can print on both of them i think they're both fantastic i love both you're companies. also love the culture trying people. to find something that fit in that new space it's also too, right? the issue we had is electric we're only able to do single phase right now um and we're limited on that too so we actually just had to get a uh, we bought a heat wave off logo daddy that used to be over in Indeed. Jercon. um so we had we bought that so we could get off the electric press to free up electricity for the uh compressor and for oh didn't mean to do that but compressor and for the the press so it had to be a single phase it had to be a six eight and it had to, we had to have a reno flash for now um, so there's a lot of limiting factors there, right? Um, and then my business partner, Tyler, for my side company, DecoFlow, that we've got other things going on too. I actually sold him that exact setup in 2014 <laughs> um, when I sold equipment. So he was like, yeah, I'm down to using one auto, the bigger one, because we're doing so much DTF now. So do you guys want this one? And he was not only were we willing to able to buy it from him, he um, let us pay him just a bit now and then basically owner financed the rest for us um and it was a sweetheart of a deal so it just kind of was like too perfect to to not move forward with so yeah. the stars kind of aligned and it worked out well are you guys going to do anything different business wise i mean i know now that you have an auto like is the goal now like marketing because he's going to be able to crank through shit way faster yes more marketing um and then changing we we do a lot of 12 to 24p stuff and we're just going to start only doing that in DTF, like no questions. If it's a one color, sure, right. more than one color. We're, if it's under 24, we're just going to be only doing DTF. I don't want them on the manual. I want them on the auto or I want them making sales, right? right. So um, that's really what's going to happen is, is that and try to get it to a spot too. Where like right now he's selling for a week and then getting a bunch of work and he's on press for the week. Right, and then he's got to go chase the work to get the right. It's, it's it's a constant like chase for the fill. So now he'll be able to like knock that out in a day or two, and every week be able to focus on sales and talking to customers and getting more consistent. Um, we had the best year we've ever had. We're growing rapidly, and the amount of money we made last year with one person and one manual is insanely good. Um, but we need to be able to scale that. So this was the next step that had to happen. It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. It's a game changer when you go from manual to auto because, you know, you can bid on those 500 piece jobs that are multicolor and just so much faster, you know, like, like you said, instead of taking a day to print, it takes a couple hours or something. And so it's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. So Thanks. happy for you. Yeah. Congrats guys. Appreciate it. Have a good night, Matt. We love you. Love you too, guys. Bye. Bye bud. <clears throat> you going through puberty? Yeah. Hey. There he is. What's up, friends? I don't like, I've seen you with a hat on in a really long time. I need a haircut. Mm -hmm. Sunday. Sunday. What are you What's up going to? going on? Oh, you know, I'm just chilling. This is my, uh, this is helping me with my Sunday scaries. After, mm. after this, I'll just go right to bed. <laughs> I just listened to your voice for the last, uh, what, 45 minutes to an hour? Oh, Listen yeah? Listen to that printful oh. episode. Was it? It's good. Okay, okay. You know, I tried calling you uh, twice, I think. We played phone tag for, on Friday. And we haven't talked. And the, we, the reason why I was calling is to say what a fucking killer episode that was. Yeah. 
uh, it was it was fun. It was a really good time. So I'll call you back tomorrow, Andy. <laughs> no, you won't. Okay. Yeah, Andy <laughs> calls me at about seven forty-five when we talk every morning. Well, not every morning, but if we're talking, I get a phone call at about seven forty-five. Is that because I'm on your way to work? Uh, my, that's when he's taking. Uh, that's when he's taking his morning dump. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm reminded yeah. of you. No, I think uh, for real, I, I'm going to listen to that episode more than once. I've listened to it once. It's a, it's more like a five times through sort of episode. That guy just, I mean, his vocabulary, what he talks about, his knowledge and experience about not just this industry, but just running a business. It's wild. Yeah. You know, I was super it, impressed. I, I think the most interesting part of it was the whole like, He's like, we can handle tons of different things, like the embroidery. He was saying something about making custom shoes and kind of what you guys do, where you you use them for, you know, the three PL service kind of thing. And like, if you needed other printing done or embroidery or whatever, you could get it done through them, right? More as like a partnership. Yeah. So like, I can get a Richardson 112 hat sewn on demand with them for like thirteen bucks, drop ship to any customer. So like, if there are things that we don't want to produce they'll produce for us um but then the cool part is like their team is actively trying to make things better so they'll hit me up and be like you know we're working on this new thing can we send you some to see if you like it and they'll make like live changes and stuff on it yeah so that's kind of cool and i think it's like you think of a huge company like that that does i don't know two three hundred million dollars and they like care about you and your ideas it's kind of the same way uh like when we go to guild in and they're like asking us about like lengths and cuts and trims mm -hmm. and what we like. It's like, oh, they're actually listening. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. kind of cool. That was like one of the uh, weird, weirdest experiences I've ever had with a large company like that. As me and you were sitting there and we were giving them ideas and they pulled out a fucking notepad and started writing shit down. <laughs> and I was like, what is happening? This isn't real. All right. You guys want some good Sunday luck? You want, mm -hmm. you want yeah, some luck? Okay. I'm curious why you don't believe in luck, Dylan. Because it's always bad for me, unless I'm just putting out bad juju. Not true. Andy, Andy, what do you think? About Dylan's luck? About luck. Do you think, do you believe in it? I definitely do, yeah. Okay. Um, for one, I'm married to Joanne, and that's really lucky because, you know, of course she wouldn't have. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, uh, I, I think that, um, so if there's, the saying, the harder you work, the luckier you get, you know, and I think that's true. I think that there's something to, you know, putting yourself out there and creating luck. If the, you know what I mean? If that makes sense. Like yeah. if you, if you, um, if you keep, I don't know, if you keep at it and you're determined, then luck finds you somehow. And so uh, if that, that's the kind of luck I'm All talking right. about. I, you said there's I agree with the thing where whatever the definition of luck was, did you say it already or whatever? Where it's like opportunity meets pre preparation. Okay. Like I believe in that. Like people that are prepared as fuck, and they just like, you know, more the opportunities come along, and then you feel like it's luck. But I'm not just like sitting here, and then shit, good shit happens to me randomly. Well, here's All the right. thing. Here's the thing I want to say before Stephen says there's thing is that you said that you always get bad luck, but that's only what you're paying attention mm. to. Because you then, because you then know that it's bad versus other things that happen that are good. True. Like other, other things happen are good, and you just don't acknowledge it. So you have good luck too. Okay, thank there you go. Our uh, our CFO just joined, so I have to, I can't talk about money anymore. <laughs> um, so this is over. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, all right. So uh, I listened to this talk a long time ago from this guy. His name Sahil Bloom, and he said there's four types of luck. I thought there were five. There's actually four. You ready for them, Andy? Yeah. All right, you got your notepad out? Okay. Luck number one is blind luck, completely out of your control, act of God, random occurrences in the universe, like winning the lottery. So that's blind luck. Cool? That never happens to Dylan. Fine. Happens to Andy because he gets to meet Joanne. Yeah. And, you know, blind luck. He, drug, there. he drugs her. Okay. Uh, <laughs> type number two, luck from motion. So you're creating motion and collisions through hustle and energy that you are inserting into an ecosystem, you increase your luck surface area through simple movement. The increase in collisions opens you up for more lucky events. This is like hustle equals luck. So that's, the, that's luck number two, luck from motion. 
Luck number three is luck from awareness. So uh, you have a depth of understanding within a given arena that allows you to become very good at positioning yourself for lucky breaks. You can spot luck from a mile away because your knowledge and experience. Okay. So that's like industry experience will get you lucky. Um, that's number three. And then here's number four, luck from uniqueness. Your unique set of attributes attracts specific luck to you. This type favors those with distinctive, if not eccentric hobbies, personal lifestyles, and motor behaviors. This luck seeks you out. So those are your four types of luck. What kind of luck? What, you which one do you get, Andy? All of them. You're just yeah, all of those. You're just lucky all around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I feel right. very lucky. I like number two. All right, there, there's your Sunday luck. Thanks, buddy. All right, Bye. cheers, Appreciate Steven. You. Thank you. See he's, ya. he's like he's out. See ya. See now everyone gets to see live what it's really like to talk to you. And he's gone. This is, this is how it is. I had to help. I me. always look. I always look like an asshole when it's fucking edited, but real life. <clears throat> lunch break for uh, lunch break. Black Dog said he's out. He's got to go eat lunch. Yeah. It's different times now. It's, it's another day. day. Yeah, yeah. He's in the future. Yeah. So, All right. So we did this. We did it for almost an hour. We got five minutes left. Um, is there anything you want to say before we before we head out? Really fun. Yeah. yeah. I want to do more of these. I think I think we'll keep doing it. If you guys want, tell us if it, if you think it's worth it. We'll just come on here and talk and bring people in mm -hmm. and hang out. Thanks everybody for uh, you know joining us and mm -hmm. the great comments. Are we able to read these comments? Because they're going so fast, I can't read them. I've been so are we able to read these trying later? to read them, but it's hard for me to read because I'm yeah, we, we very know. high IQ. We, we know. It's okay. We still love you. Love you all. Thank you for joining. It's been awesome. We'll uh, do this again next Sunday.